I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to warp text on InDesign. I really hope you're going to find this helpful. Make sure you subscribe for more. Now let's jump right into this video. Follow this, uh, follow this video along with me or you can also just watch this video. Pay attention and now let's jump right into this video. So it's very simple. What you have to do is to is to grab uh, some of this let's say a rectangle now I have a rectangle I'm gonna resize sorry let's go here resize this rectangle and you may see this I have this anchor point and they're pretty huge and when I started learning blender I had a really hard time grabbing those anchor point it was very frustrating Probably I'm getting sidetracked, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna help this help you this. So I'm gonna show you how to increase the size of this anchor point. Go to general and here in user interface scaling, make sure you increase from small to large the anchor point, handle, boundary box, display size. Super super helpful. Now let's add a clips, hold shift. Polygon, hold shift, and now click on the line, no, actually on the pen tool, and create some shapes. Let's create another one. Now let's click on type on the pad tool. If you have this pad, just right click here and select or press on your keyboard shift plus D and now just click on this one here just type some text and as you can see we have text around this path and now I can increase the text size as you can see for this one again and for this one let's actually copy Okay, let's actually remove this one. Works, 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 and then works again. And it's really helpful to open also character here. If you might ask, um, go to window. And here in window, go to tape, type, tables, and select character. Also, use the shortcut Control plus D. This will open this uh, panel if it's called a panel. And here you can see I'm opening using the shortcut Control plus D. You can also use the shortcut Control plus um, Shift plus D, which will open the type on the pad tool. As you can see here, shortcut, open this. So this is very helpful if you want to be productive in design. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care.